Hi, this is Sally Falca. I'm at Search Engine Strategies in Chicago, freezing. And I'm freezing with Dana Todd. Hello, how are you? I'm excellent. So, what I want to know is, what should PR people be doing in 2010? In 2010? They should not be doing what they're doing in 2009. Um, first things first, they should be thinking long term. They should stop thinking episodic, story to story, um, micro budget to micro budget. They should instead start thinking in terms of storylines. We just had this whole session on storytelling. They should be thinking in terms of building a perpetual storyline and building multiple storylines that support an overall brand proposition. They should definitely be doing that. And of course, they should be buying some news for us. They should budget for that. <laughs> Goes without saying, right? So, why do you think that PR people in the, in the U.S don't like advertorial? Um, well, actually, readers don't. If you ask them if they like advertorial, they'll say, no, no, no. But if you watch their behaviors, <laughs> they, they, they consume it like any other information. It's information. Yeah, sure. I they mean, do. we've seen from the testing yeah. that users actually like it. Yeah. And we've had it for so long with things like naps and all those in print Absolutely. that's always been used. It works. So, do you have any idea why do we get resistance online? Why can I not pay for my story to be put somewhere online? Um, actually, you're getting a lot less resistance this year yeah. because the media is finally hungry enough mm -hmm. and finally ready to explore new digital options. Um, and so we've certainly had a lot of great conversations this year with news publishers. The other thing I think we're, we are... there. There are a bunch of PR firms who get editorials, who leverage it. But what they're not realizing is, is that they can go beyond what they've been doing before, which is just take a story and stick it somewhere. They can actually create these perpetual feedback loops to optimize and refine. And there's, there's so much more control that they can have when they start taking advantage of the digital channel. It just gives them, I don't know that they know what to do with the control, frankly. I mean, a lot of them are still struggling even with keyword optimization and and remembering to optimize every press release and remembering to stick to a keyword calendar. I really don't think there's a lot of discipline around that right now yet. It'll be there, but it's not there yet. Thanks very much. Thank you.